Hello, my name's Jesse, and I want to talk about phytoplankton today. How do you know when your phytoplankton's ready? We'll go through that in a minute. Stay tuned. A very common question I get is, how do I know when my phytoplankton's ready to use? Fortunately, I have phytoplankton at several different growth stages right now, so it's a really good time to show you what phytoplankton is like when it's ready and what phytoplankton looks like when it's not ready. So let's take a little bit closer look. Just for reference, the bottles on the right, the three bottles on the far right hand side, those are fresh mixed today, just started today. The fourth bottle from the right is not a healthy bottle. And we're gonna take a closer look at that and see what an unhealthy bottle looks like and something you might be able to do to save the bottle. The bottle right in the middle, that is a very mature, mature culture and it is ready to go. Same with the one beside it. And the three to the far left are about three or four days old. Everybody's phytoplankton will grow at different rate of speed. My phytoplankton, it grows fairly, fairly quickly and I use a very low tech setup, merely a shop light from Costco and two liter bottles is the basis of my phytoplankton operation here. I use nothing but Gillard's F2 fertilizer. I never use miracle Grow. It is not a good idea to use miracle Grow. Phytoplankton will grow with miracle Grow, but most reefers don't want to use it. I suggest just spend the money, do it properly, and use Gillard's F2. So these three bottles here on the far right are just fresh mixed about one hour ago to start new cultures. As you can see with this black airline in this one here, you move the airline around, you can actually see the airline in the bottle. Now, if you move the bubbles to the middle of the bottle, you can easily see the bubbles going up to the surface. This is a clear indication that this phytoplankton is not ready at all. Probably needs at least another week. At least here it would take me another week to get that ready. After a while, you would be able to just tell if your phytoplankton is ready or not by just looking at it. You'll get used to the shades of color. I'm just having a little bit closer up on a culture that is not ready at all that requires about another week of growing and you can clearly see the bubbles coming out of the airline inside the bottle that is the best indication that it's not ready here we're looking at three cultures that are about three or four days old as you can see you move the airline in the bottle you can clearly see the bubbles much darker than the one we just looked at, but you can still clearly see the bubbles. And now for the middle, the same, you can very easily see the bubbles and the airline inside the bottle. And it's same with the one on the end here, although it is a little bit darker, but still not ready. If you can see the bubbles when they're e even around the middle, it is not ready at all. Now these two bottles in the middle are very ready. So there, I've just moved the airline right against the very front of the bottle and you can see the bubbles. But if you move it just an inch out, you cannot see the bubbles. Very, very dark. When you take the air out, it almost looks black. Very, very dark green. Bubbler up, you can see it when it's touching the edge of the bottle, move it back an inch or two, cannot see the bubbles. That means it's ready. So there's one good way, a reference point we'll call it, um, for you to be able to judge whether your phytoplankton's ready to use or not. And again, once you get familiar with the process, you'll be able to recognize it yourself just by looking at it. So here is a bottle that is very clearly off color. The color is not very good at all. It's almost got like a yellow color to it. It's still green, but it's yellow compared to this one here. Not a good color, not the color we're looking for. I have had success by just adding more fertilizer. 
first thing I would try is add more fertilizer. I've had great success by looking at this. Maybe I miscalculated the amount of fertilizer to add to my phytoplankton in the first place. And to me, this is phytoplankton plankton starving for fertilizer. So again, the first fix I would try to uh, a culture of phytoplankton that's got a little bit of a yellow tinge to it, just doesn't quite look right, is just add another full dose of fertilizer. So this is 0.5 for one liter. My cultures are two liter cultures, so I would add one milliliter to this culture and that will bring it back to life. And nine times out of 10, by the very next day, it's got the proper color back and going back to proper form. So I hope this video has been helpful to help you determine whether your phytoplankton is ready or not. This was something I wasn't sure of when I first started doing it and just over time and experience, like I said, you will be able to do it just with your eye eventually. But this is if you're just beginning, this is just a good little help so you can figure out if you're ready to use your phyto. Till next time, happy fish keeping, reef keeping, take care and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.